Hi, everybody. My name is Eric. I am a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, as you could see, I've kind of switched everything up here. I'm going to be doing some music, playing guitar, trying to record some new songs, you know. I did it last year, and I had a blast. I usually last about a month or two at the most. But anyway, here we are. We are the body of Christ. We are the family of God. What we share is holy, special, and it belongs to us, God's children. No matter where we go, no matter who we're with, we could always be ourselves. Now, this last bit of time, uh, <laughs> I caught, how do I start? I got proof that I was molested as a child by a priest. Finally, after waiting all these years, the Lord finally showed me evidence that, yes, that really happened. Because in the Catholic Church, it's all secret. And when you're a little boy, six years old, five years old, what they do to us when we're that age, and they tell us, keep it secret, you know, we believe them. And it was just the freakiest unfolding of events. And it hasn't continued because it's been three weeks so this last few days, the Lord sends me a messenger. And I know people don't understand sometimes about the way God works. But we have, there are things that God does with people into our lives. How he brings cor uh, a corrective maneuvering so that we are positioned in a different uh, location for a battle, you know, going to move us. And so what, where I was was dangerous, so i got to get over to where he's going to take me. He usually sends a messenger or something like that. Now, this last bit of time making these YouTube videos, he sends me a messenger. And you know, the, voc um, the vocalization of God is not with words. There is a power. And uh, prophets are to be quiet in the presence of another prophet, if the other prophet speaks. And so when I receive a prophetic uh, nudge or a word from the Lord, it's very accurate usually. So armed with this boldness, you know, that God wanted me to move into a new place, you know, I sort of confronted my abuser. My main abuser, which was my maternal mother, my mother from my birth. And, you know, enough is enough. Talked about a lot, of, a lot of stuff that she ignored for a lot of years. And, you know, it was a very liberating experience. And, uh, you know, I don't think I'll be going back because, you know, being molested... <sighs> Uh, that's a one-time through process. We don't, anything closely resembling anything like something that evil, you know, I'm going to get away from. And so Roman Catholic, you know, the blinders that Roman Catholic people have and the denial. Uh, and I'm making generalizations because, in fact, there is no spirit of God in the Catholic Church. People do not know Jesus Christ there. They may think they do, but they don't. And so there is a certain level of wickedness, okay, deception, and it's very slippery. But I think this last few days, you know, we'll see what happens with it. Love remains intact. I love everyone. I love my mother. I love my family. I love all my abusers. I love everybody who's ever been alive. I forgive them because God has forgiven them. God receives them. The blood washes over all of this creation. And I, have, um, you know, I am of the privileged few to understand God's truth and his love. And so are you if you're watching me. All right, everybody. I think I talked way too long. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to start some music. Let's say a prayer. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for your candid truth. When it comes out, it comes out. Teach us your ways and allow us the grace to walk boldly before you. Amen. All right, everybody. I love you all so much. We'll see you soon.